when you're creating or modifying a deployment, one of the things you can do is to customize exactly where the installed components of your tool are going to go. In this particular case, we're modifying a deployment and we're configuring the AutoCAD 2012 tool. So we'll come here and click the Open and Configure, which will op then open up a list of our installation options. We'll normally use a typical installation type and then we can look at how the tool itself is installed from a support content point of view. By default, we'll use local user profiles. However, if you don't have shared usage on the machines, you may just want to install AutoCAD in one root folder and not have different user profiles. In that case, you could use this drop-down box and go to a program install folder like this, which would typically be something like Program Files, Autodesk, AutoCAD 2012, something along those lines. And then using subdirectory folders, support, plotters, data links, etc. There would be no specific profiles on a per user login basis here. So it's really just a matter of the topology you'd like to have. But it's very easy to create either case using this drop down box. Now, moving down, this should look familiar to you as essentially the Files tab of Options. Here we can do things like adding in different support paths. These are not the default support paths that we would see above, but the ones that we might wish to add. For example, what if I'd like to add in a support file path for some custom Autolisp utilities? Well, it would be very easy for me to, to add that in going to a network drive, the X drive in this case, I could then perform operations like bumping this up the priority list so that it would be loaded first. I could do the same thing with printer parameters, plot styles, things like that. So very easy to add those types of files in. You can then, of course, put in a description in any of these parameters that you like, and that will show up in the user's profile after AutoCAD installs. Now there are more options which we'll be looking at in future videos, but these options really allow you to take control of your installation topology and set it up on your network in a way that makes the most sense for you and your users. And of course, if you put these settings in your deployment, you don't have to go to each and every machine and update things like new support paths. So it's a great time saver and a great way to take advantage of some technology inside the deployment tool.